Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy 7. In the last episode, we started Chapter 5 and made it through most of the uh, mansion, or made it through most of the sewers, took care of most of the saggy hands, got lost a little bit, but then we made it to, well, we made it to the uh, uh, Shinra Manor proper, and then we got switched over to Kate Seth, who was trying to uh, do, uh, we had to do a stealth mission where he's trying a little bit more about deep ground. So now we got our mission Solid Kate coming along. And there's 13 enemies we have to um, avoid detection of. So first things first is here. I'm going to get here. I'm going to get to the third. I'm going to get to the third pipe. Kind of... Uh, sneak through and then kind of hide behind here then he'll start making his way back forward and when he does go this way and then make your way through and make a way down here We didn't quite do what we were supposed to, but it worked. We got two guards here to deal with. And then, boom, right here. Now we have to get, that's our ultimate goal for this first area. So here, we need to make about halfway down and position the camera to where, All right, so what? There. We got these guys to deal with. And then sneak past. But we're not done yet. That's only area one. We got two areas of this to deal with. So. All right, so now here. Leap over. This. And then, uh. And when you see the, right before the guard goes through, go, boom. And now, hide behind the barrel. Now we got to Tiptoe past him like this and make it make it down. And now here. Go through here and we're out. And that's it for Kate Sith for now. Now we'll be switching back to Vincent. But that's it. Well, we, we got more Kate Sith uh, missions to deal with here soon. That's not good.
And there's a hand that comes out and just. That's. Who are you? Who in the world are you? They're growing a mega down here. Okay. And Kate's just gone. That's not good. But now we're back to Vincent. First things first, let's uh, unbrighten this a little bit. Like that. That looks a lot better, actually. Okay. So now we continue through here. He's got a Cerberus release. I needed I needed one of them anyway. So let's uh, customize and put uh, well we'll need that just for the heck of it. Let's customize. There we go. That should be good for now. So now, uh, why is it not letting me open up the door? Oh, huh? Wouldn't let me open the door. Because I want the door to open. We start off in the library of the Shinra Manor. For Final Fantasy VII veterans, this, should look, this room should look familiar to you. It should look very familiar to you. What we have here looks like a, a materia, but what kind of materia? Is it blizzard? It's blue. Oh, hi, Lucretia. Right. Yeah, that's, that's us. Have you come to check up on sure. She's a hologram and uh, Omega. So she's obviously gonna explain a little bit about Omega. Omega That's not good. We gotta stop it, huh? I guess. But why would a steep throne want to uh, summon Omega? Let me get another flashback. Now, for uh, Final Fantasy VII Abbott children, this should be a familiar area. Thank you. 
So basically, Deep Realm wants to purge the planet. For what reason? Not sure. But they want to purge the planet. Yeah, so we gotta stop Omega. Probably easier said than done, though. This reminds me a lot of the Bugenhagen scene from the original Seven. So yeah, they want to purge the planet, destroy the planet for some reason. We don't know why, but they want to annihilate the planet. So, we gotta stop, of course, Omega. I will leave a copy of my records here for you, Vincent. No, I... I cannot imagine what help they might be. If any at all. Just remember... Quit apologizing. It's not your fault. And there's a diskette. But this ain't the only one. Or uh, we have to. There's four in this chapter we gotta find. If you want to get the S rank and you want to get the full scope of the game and get like the good ending and all kind of stuff, uh, you have to find all four Omega files, and then later in the game you have to find some more files. So our goal will be to find the four files. Luckily, I kind of know where they're at, but we'll get to we'll get to that as soon as we can. Yeah. So. We gotta get all four of those files. So first things first. We need to head this way. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's this way. Yeah, it is. All right. You look over here, there's a uh, knocked over bookshelf. You look underneath the bookshelf. There's another memory capsule. So, so that's good. All right, so now, we need to head to the south part of the library which is right over here, over here. And boom. Get some more items, to, uh, get another potion if need be. And now continue on through these doors. Yeah, you just got to be quick on your trigger here because a lot of the enemies are going to be uh, very uh, tight, especially in corridors like this. Now, if you go right here and you look right here, there's another... Uh, And now we got this door open. Now we can start exploring all the doors. 
one of these has an Omega file in it somewhere. So that's something we gotta look look for. It's in this room. Ah, it is. Uh, it's right here. So there's one of the mega reports. Okay. Now, okay, so there's two of them. Now we gotta go through this door. Be prepared as soon as you enter this door because. There's a Mako point. Uh, one of these areas has, yeah, that. <laughs> okay. Since I entered this door, Be prepared. Alright, this is where we came in. Never mind. Alright, so there's a door that we're missing. Is this it? Yeah, it's over here. All right. Now we're in familiar, getting into some familiar area. If you look, if you remember in here, this is actually where Vincent was found at in the original game. This is the Vincent room. Right, so this is where we found Vincent at in the uh, original game. Now here, just creep on through. Just be careful because there's going to be a lot of enemies coming out. So, you just got to kind of, all I can tell you is just kind of be on your watch. And, uh, this area is pretty much straightforward. Now we got to activate some mines. Well, It's kind of do that. You got to kind of listen closely. There's four of them total, so. The other one's got to be down this way. And there's a fourth one. There we go. The activating all four will get you a, a card key where you can use to actually go forward.
That, that's the only way you can do to go forward is going this way. All right. Be wary. We've got enemies. Ah, oh, this is the way I came. Ugh. No. Okay. So it's the other direction. Of course. So it's this way we gotta go. Now here. Oh, that sucks. How do you get out? There's a... Now you gotta wait for the thing to come back. And then jump across. There. Hey! Thought I killed you. Yes, I didn't. We're almost out of this this area. There's a secret door over here that has a secret shop. And a secret Mako point. And some secret stuff. And more stuff. And at least it's back here. So, now he's head back through and continue on through this way. Now we're getting close to the spiraling staircase that it actually led up to the manor proper. there all right so we're getting close now guys now if you this should all be a very familiar area to you if you play the original Final Fantasy and now we're in the manor proper soon as we get out all right we're going to end it here guys when we come back we got now we're in the manor proper and uh we're going to continue looking around we got a couple more omega files to find we got a couple more um, memory capsules to get we got all kinds of little stuff to do but we're actually getting close to the end of chapter five now but we still got a little bit more stuff to do but we'll take care of all of that next time on let's play dirge of cerberus final fantasy 7 this is DKS3, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.